The sophomore Jada Brennan's been a warrior in net this season for Holy Cross. She's on pace to break the all-time Hockey East saves record. Yeah, absolutely, upstart program. I mean, you can expect to see that, but Jade's been an absolute workhorse, been a big part of this team, and will be a big part of this team for the next two years. Third meeting this season between these two. They've played one game as moving in for the initial shot for Courtney Correa. It's saved by Brennan. They've played one game at BU, one game here. Boston University won the bowl four to one. Holy Cross looking for a more competitive effort this afternoon as Jesse Comfer in on the faceoff here against Mary Edmonds for Holy Cross, and Edmonds wins it into the corner. You saw the records in our open. It's not exactly pretty for Holy Cross at 3-20 and 5, but look, they only won one game last year. This is year two in Hockey East, and head coach Katie LaChapelle talked to her this week, and she's felt like her team has been much more competitive this season. Oh, and being a guy who's seen them play last year, even the year before, they've come a long ways. And especially Katie LaChapelle, talented recruiter for ladies of this level. She was a member of the uh, Boston University staff a couple of years ago and recruited a lot of these girls. So expect to see a better Holy Cross team as she continues to get more of her recruits in. Nine years on the BU staff for Katie LaChapelle under Brian DeRocher, the head coach for BU, who's in his 15th year. He's the only coach in the history of this Boston University women's hockey program. Moving into the offensive zone, Rachel Moore for Holy Cross, leaves it behind. Now at the point, a shot from Hannah Gillis, and it goes in, and what a start for Holy Cross. 70 seconds in, and they lead 1-0. Great for Holy Cross. That's a, excellent to get a lead early against a team like Boston University. Tough play for a goaltender there. Puck, a little bit of a loose, broken play in front. Puck gets blocked. McQuaig, great job grabbing that rebound and putting it upstairs. They give it to Katie McQuaig. She picks up her third goal of the year. Moore was in there as well, kind of shielding off the goalkeeper. And wow, how about that start for the Crusaders? They get the first goal. And look, on the season, Holy Cross only averages 1.04 goals per game. So that is a heck of a start. So if they average 1.04 and they're a minute and a half in, hopefully they'll be above that tonight. BU looking to answer, and there's a glove save by Brennan. Look, Boston University, a very talented team, and one of the keys to the game, Katie LaChapelle said, was keep them to the outside, keep them out of the slot. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Well, as a goaltender, the shots from the outside, they have less angle to shoot on the net. Net looks a lot smaller to the shooter, way easier to do your job there. Also, when you give talented players like Sammy Davis, uh, and Jesse Comfort, time and space, especially in the middle of the ice, they're dangerous. They can make things happen. So keep them to the outside, make them work to get to the inside. That's going to be a huge key for Holy Cross. Puck in the corner in the BU zone right now. A couple players go after it in there and skating away with it is Julia Nearest for BU. This is a team with a lot of speed and a lot of talent. Desiree D'Souza leaves for Nearest in the corner and it's poke checked away by Kaylee Langfels, and it comes out to center. You know, the story in this one, it's a one-game weekend for both these teams, and the reason for that is BU is right in the middle of Beanpot. They played on Tuesday and beat Boston College easily, 4 to nothing. Next Tuesday, as a shot and another save by Brennan, offside whistled before the shot, though, against BU. So they beat BC on Tuesday, 4 nothing. They'll play Northeastern next Tuesday, a consensus top three team in the country in all the polls. So how hard do you think it is for BU to focus on this game on the road right in the middle of the only thing in your schedule that's maybe as important as, let's say, the NCAA tournament or the Hockey East tournament? Well, they're hosting the Final Four in, in Boston at the Wally Brown Arena, and they might see Northeastern in the uh, Hockey East championships. So that's going to be a game that's going to set the tone for them. Also in the national rankings, you can get a win against them, especially in the Beanpot, incredible tournament. That's going to really set the tone for the rest of the year. So this is, it's, it's, it's going to be easy for them to overlook this game. But like Holy Cross has done so far, you can overlook them. you got to respect every opponent you play. So the early lead for the Crusaders, 1-0, moving into the offensive zone for BU. There is Haley Blinkhorn in the corner going after it. Rachel Allen, one of two Allens, unrelated, spelled differently on this BU team, Rachel number 22 and Alex number two. Again, they have one letter different in their last names as this comes out of the zone, hopping over the stick of Nadia Mativi. Puck comes behind the net where it's skated down for Holy Cross by Langfells once again. Crusaders don't often score first. They're pretty good when they do. Two one and two this season 
when getting the first goal. As Matibi kept it in the zone for a minute, and then it's poked away from her by McQuig, the goal scorer. Good action early, you'd have to say, for the Crusaders, not even including the one goal. They've just played well through the first three and a half plus minutes. They've been hard on the puck here. That was a great play by McQuaid, getting her stick on it, getting it out of the defensive zone. And Holy Cross is going to have to play that gritty game. They're not going to be able to get a lot of odd man rushes without it creating it through a good gritty defensive play. Major throws this one into the BU zone, and Holy Cross goes for a change as Mativi is the first to the puck and gets it behind the net to her defensive partner, Alex Allen. Now all the way down the ice and icing whistled against the BU Terriers. This has been a great start for Holy Cross so far. BU might be a little bit on their heels right now getting that early goal against, but Holy Cross has played exactly the game that Katie Lachapelle wants them to play. Keeping pucks to the outside, getting pucks out, getting pucks in deep behind the BU defense and going to work. There you see Katie Lachapelle, her first year as the head coach, associate head coach the last two years, and as we said, nine years on the BU staff. She said it was really weird playing against Boston University last year, a little more normal in the first two meetings this year, but like you talked about, she recruited so many of these players and she still you know, hopes to see them succeed, just not when they're playing against her Crusaders. Is moving in is Davis for BU wraparound chance and a save by Brennan. Pinning that pad to the pipe and keeping Davis from putting one in the back of the net. Still in the Holy Cross zone, a fight for it in the corner. Four players in there on the pile up and Davis comes away with it. Davis, one of the captains of this BU team, gets into the slot, centering pass, backhand shot, and a pad save. What a start in this game for Jada Brennan. She's the stabilizing force behind this Holy Cross team. Upstart program, that's what you're gonna need, and she's been delivering. Now another save by Brennan. We have a delayed penalty against Holy Cross, but they still haven't been able to touch up. Elia across the ice. Schuler gives back to Elia, throws one in front, a save by Brennan into the corner. And finally, the Crusaders touch up with 14.56 to go in the opening period.